Get a huge discount plus four additional months for free from today's sponsor at nordvpn.com forward slash forge. Welcome back to Not My Workshop. Today, I want to explore chain making. Because it didn't used to be the case that you could show up to your local Ace Hardware, B&Q, and just be able to buy chain off a reel by the meter. I want to see how much chain can I make in one day. So at some point in time, I think I have made chain. But if I did, it was definitely more than 10 years ago. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this to the length that I think is gonna work for most of our chain links. Probably gonna be about six to eight inches. We're gonna bend a loop. Then we're gonna have to make a little neckwear, a little scarf. You'll find out more in a sec. Ah, I'm melting it. <laughs> So for these to weld together, they need to be scarfed. That means prepared for welding, because I can't just lay these big chunks of metal on themselves and hammer down. It's gonna create cracks. It's not gonna create a good weld. We have to taper off the ends so that it welds much more seamlessly. That's the theory, at least. In order to do that, Try one of those. Bend that bad boy around. What are the odds that works? So over the course of the day, depending on how this goes, I'm gonna have to experiment with different scarfs, preparation, how it goes together. It's gonna take me a minute to get my eye in. What I'm gonna do now, a little bit of flux. Almost ready, almost hot. Here we go, you ready, Jamie? Three, two, one. Oh, let's take another welding heat. That actually looks promising. What's quite disappointing is I already have a dirty forge. You can see in here these bits of coke with those black dots on them. These black little dots, that's the beginning of clinker forming, where the impurities are burning off. That's not great. Now, this could have been fixed with a bigger fire pot and a deeper fire. It would hopefully melt and drip down to the bottom a little bit more. So I'm a little bit disappointed that at this stage, at the beginning of the day, we've already got a dirty fire because a dirty fire is no good for forge welding. Right, the steel is definitely sweating. One. Now it's not seamless, but I think it's welded. It is 10.24 in the morning. We've got our first link done. Put that to the side. I'm gonna jump right into the next one. So like, here's part of the interesting challenge of making chain. As you go, you end up with just an obnoxious amount of chain hanging around. So what you've got to do is you've got to like think very carefully about when you put chain links together so you don't end up just dragging back tons of links from the fire to the anvil. Tons of links? How many do you think you're going to make today? I don't know, at least three quarters of a ton. One. I thought you were going to put the other two chains yeah, in Yeah, I forgot to. <laughs> so, link number one, link number two, little dash of flux. They're not the same size. <laughs> They're kind of close. Not that bad. It's handmade link, Jamie. Ah, the links are all over the bloody shop. That's our third link after the first heat. Those seams really look not great. I wish they could go away on the first welding heat. It's been taking me at least another one or two for them to look better. Three links of chain. So we're out in the wilderness of your father's backyard. Yes. And I think we're close by to the first time you tried blacksmithing. Yes, right? we are indeed. So over here, under this little lean-to right here, in that very corner is where I very first attempted to hammer hot steel. 
That's the first fault there, isn't it? No, that's, that looks like a barbecue, <laughs> the fire pit. That is the first proper failure of the day. I think from overheating and burning it, we have caused this break, which is not what we need. Ah, oh, I burnt it. Um, have you realised what you've done? Well, I know, I made the third link without putting the other links in. <laughs> <laughs> is that another set of three done then? Yes, it is. And because I accidentally made an extra link, we can put them together and we're going to have seven. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Isn't it astonishing how cheap manufactured chain is to buy? Yes. Whereas if you compared it to if it was needed to be handmade. This should be a three heat operation. How much time would this take if they were cut cold, they were bent cold, which you could do even hundreds of years ago. You're probably still looking at between two to five minutes of time per link. For me, how much time do you reckon this is taking me per link? 10 minutes? Hour and a half for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's taking me about 12 minutes per link at the current rate. And yeah, imagine if you needed hundreds of meters of this. Back in the day, this would be expensive as can be. Also, way less strong, because with electrically welded links that we have today, there is so much more of a guarantee of the strength of that join. Here, there's got to be a much higher weld failure risk, so you'd need to have thicker links being heavier, more expensive in material, to be able to do the job of what you could now do with much smaller, lighter, and of course, more inexpensive chain. Got another break. Another bad weld, got it a little bit too hot, it burnt. Ah, that's a bummer. A break in the chain, I think that means break in the day. How about a bit of uh, ping pong? I will beat you at ping pong if you so wish. What? You can't use the wall, Jamie! How do you rate your first time playing table tennis? I think that ping pong is a game for losers and it's crap. <laughs> Everything feels like it is just getting faster and smoother the more of these we do. So now this set of three goes in, that set of three goes in to make seven. That's a cumbersome pile of chains after weld. Here we go. Tap, 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 get the scarf, tap, 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 get the scarf. And now these 14 links need to go together. That sun over there looks like it's starting to come down. You've got 15 links just about. Do you think you're going to be able to get 20 done before the sun's gone? 20. Oh, I don't know about that. I should be able to do five more links. I mean, to be fair, Jamie, look, if we're at 10 minutes to 12 minutes a link, five more, absolutely in the realm of possible. But what is very difficult now, ah, we have this problem which is I have a 15 link long bit of chain that I have to manipulate with tongs and it's now stuck on them. That couldn't have been better timing for describing my problem. Ah! God, that is unwieldy as an just awful to hold. It swings around. Very messy, but that actually might be one of my best welds of the day. Now there actually used to be, well I mean there still are in existence, but at least not manufactured new, chain makers anvils. That is an anvil that is designed specifically for somebody that's making chain. Now some of the things they might have included were, instead of having to use the horn to true up and round up all this chain, some of these chain makers anvils 
have a little step that comes off here with a little half round in it so that you could be here welding and then immediately be dressing the sides of the weld with this little step. There'd be so much less movement and it would make the task of forging chain much more efficient. Well, there we go. That is how much chain I can make in a day. 19 links, about a meter. And that was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. Whoa! Thank today's sponsor. Today's sponsor, NordVPN, is here to help you with some more cybersecurity tips. Don't ever log on to public Wi-Fi without using a VPN. The reason is you might think you're logging on to your local gym's Wi-Fi, when in fact it's Jimmy the Hacker that has set up a spoof Wi-Fi network to steal all your data. That is a man in the middle attack, and that is why any time I go to a hotel, public area, whatever, and I have to connect to the internet, I make sure that I'm using NordVPN. The reason this keeps me safe is NordVPN encrypts the data that goes between me and them, who are the intermediary between me and the websites that I'm browsing. Over to this, because NordVPN servers act as that intermediary, and they have over 6,000 of them in 60 plus countries, I get to choose exactly where the websites that I browse think I'm browsing from. With the tap of a button for their handy dandy app for iOS, Android, Mac, and PC, I am now browsing from the United States. Perfect for if your favorite show isn't available in the country where you are. So please go to nordvpn.com forward slash forge for a huge discount on a two year plan and four additional months for free. That's nordvpn.com forward slash forge. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.